It's well known that thousands of Jews from all over the world began to make the dangerous and risky journey to settle in Israel both during and after the Holocaust. Well, now a C-46 carrier plane from the 1947 Operation Michaelberg has just been returned to Israel, reminding us of some of these incredible stories. Joining me in the studio today is Shlomo Hillel, the former Speaker of the Knesset, the President of the Society for Preservation of Israeli Heritage Sites, and the active commander during Operation Michaelberg. And he He's going to tell us more about our amazing history. It's such an honor to have you here with us today. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. All right, so let's begin with Operation Michaelberg. What was this operation? After the Second World War, there was a lot of illegal immigration. People, after the Holocaust, they tried to come to leave Europe where they, they had nowhere to go back. But the British intercepted the ships and sent them either to... Uh, to uh, to, uh, to at least, uh, or, or to Cyprus later on, right. and they didn't let them in. Uh, we also, so we, we had at that time a lot of illegal immigration by sea, people who came from Europe. We also had immig illegal immigration by land for, for people who came from Arab lands like Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen, etc. Uh, but uh, till 1947, we never experienced and the illegal immigration by, by plane. Right. So in 1947, it was the first time that we decided and we tried and we succeeded in bringing illegal immigration by plane when the British were expecting to look on the sea to find the, the ships they, bought, they wanted to intercept them. And they didn't think, it didn't occur to them that we can to use... To look into the sky. That, that's right. So wow. that's how we, we, we were successful. As a matter of fact, we had three flights like that at that time. How many people were on these flights? In each flight, 50 people. Wow, and it where was, were they coming from specifically? Uh, we, the, first, the first time I, I was the commander, we, we were sent to Baghdad, to Iraq, the most dangerous place. Which is where you were born, actually. Exactly, and I was also on, on a mission before that for more than a year, so I was supposed to know the area, etc. So I was, I was to, go to, to bring the first time wow. in 1947, in August 1947. And this wasn't only just risky because you were bringing uh, these immigrants in via flight, but also because you had to get them from these territories, The most right? dangerous thing was to, to organize the operation in, in Iraq. On the because, ground. Yeah, because you can just imagine if it would have failed, it would have been wow. uh, gallows for, for all of us, not for one or two. So tell us about this plane that disappeared, and, and now we've just recovered it. How was it found? No. The plane was used during the Second World War, American plane, during the a military plane that has no seats when we are speaking about plane. Right. It had no seats at all. It was in, during the Second World War used by the American army. And then after the war, there have been some pilots, very brave and very experienced pilots, that after the war, they hesitated what to do. They didn't want to go to become clerks, etc. So they started going from one, one place to the, using what they learned during the army mm -hmm. and uh, to smuggle things like, like, uh, uh, like gold or like... Uh, Goods, yeah. All kinds of things. And all of a sudden they heard that in Palestine, we in Palestine, we were ready to pay for smuggling people. So they just came here to Palestine in 1947, when the British were still wow. here. And uh, they said that we'll take, they will take 100 pounds, uh, British pounds in those days, which, uh, for, for wow. each passenger, 50 passengers, which, was, which meant about 5,000 pa th pounds in those days, which means $20,000, that in our currency today, this would have meant about half a million dollars. What happened with the C-46 more specifically? It went back to the United States. It continued to do smuggling from here and there. And as a matter of fact, now, in, in, when, when, when we decided in our, in, in our society for preservation of historical sites, and we have the, the uh, in Atlit, which is the, the, the place that the British would, would send the illegal immigrants. Uh, and, and, and we have already a ship 
that, that gives the example of the people who came by ship, mm -hmm. we decided to bring the, the first plane in, in order to tell the story of Eagle Ling Ration by ship, by land, and by air. So we managed to, to, to get the plane and uh, to, get, to, to send it from Alaska to Seattle in, in, in Washington, from there to China, from China to, to the Canal Suez, like Marco Polo all around the world. Wow, wow, wow. And only about a couple of weeks ago, it, it arrived to, to, to Atlit, uh, to, to the, 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 the detention camp of refugees, the, the people that, that, that the British would, would send there in order to, to well, the, the illegal immigrants were sent to this detention camp in Atlit. So now we can finally really get to see this piece of history, which is so important to us. Now, thank you so much for coming in and for doing everything that you did to fight for the state of Israel. And we will be seeing you soon. Thank you very much and God bless.